what's up everybody welcome back to another episode of doc talk punch thank you so much for joining us now whether you're watching us here on youtube or if you're listening in on the audio version of the podcast because mm -hmm. some people do that make sure you go ahead and subscribe that way you can come back here every wednesday see what we're talking about and if like this week's topic we are we enjoyed our Fantastic Four fan casting so much, we thought we'd bring another episode in, and we're going big, folks. We are doing the MCU X-Men fan casting. And you may have noticed from the thumbnail, the thumbnail says part one. We thought that this right. was so big, there were so many characters that we want to see casted, that we're breaking them into two parts. So this is part one, okay? We are fan casting Magneto, Professor X, Cyclops, Jean yeah. Grey, and the big one, Wolverine. Okay. Mm -hmm. Next week, make sure you come back because we're fan casting Mr. Sinister, Storm, Nightcrawler, Rogue, Gambit. Ooh, yeah, yeah. so you are going to want to make sure that you come back here next week. Watch this whole episode and then come <laughs> back and watch that whole episode so that you can see what we're talking about here. We got some good ones, guys. I'm really excited about this. Oh, I am Brody Hanson, joined by... Two Dong Dylan. And... I'm Charlie. Charlie, we got to come up with a nickname for you. Hoo-ha! Yeah. Hoo-ha. Charlie Hoo-ha. I know. We, a we, asked the, we asked the people for help, and uh, they sent me a lot of really mean names in the, in the DMs. That's preposterous. So, uh, in the DMs, the d direct messages. In the no. DMs, in the everybody, hit me up on the DM. Everybody who has who has uh, who watches these has only put absolutely fantastic, uh, very pleasant comments. That is always uh, very, uh, if in any way critical, it is only constructive. It's true, and there we will go. reply to those okay. comments if you res if you put comments down there. I'll reply to them. So make you sure get you comment down below. Brody. If you do have a, give me give me a good nickname. Give me yeah. a, give me a, give me one that I can, that my my kids won't look at me with like a with shame in their eyes yeah, when make, they hear make it. Make sure that they're nice. Charlie's kids watch these. He does have yeah. They really? do. So they do with. Yeah, Wait, they do. I mean, your kids I, don't watch. My kids don't watch. Not yet. <laughs> they're not All old right. enough. <laughs> All right. So we we've got we've got this these big five right here. What, did you guys have any criteria you were working with? Too dong? Uh, you do, I, any, I, you do anything special? Oh, oh sorry, no. Charlie. I have, uh, yeah, no, yeah, Charlie, go ahead. After you, Charlie. Well, I insist I go first. Uh, <laughs> I I just wanted to make sure that a I hadn't already cast them in the Fantastic Four because yeah. as we all know, I cast the perfect Fantastic Four and they're all they're all getting in the movie, so they're all gone. They're already in the MCU, so I can't reuse anybody. Sure. Uh, and then I went like age ranges. I I. I, I tried to kind of go, you know, in that 60s range for Magneto and Professor X and then more in the, like, thir like that 27, 28 to, like, you know, 35, 36, maybe 40 uh, for the rest of the cast in that kind of Old. pool. I, I'm not, I, I didn't, like, I didn't pay too close attention to the ages as long as they kind of fit in that kind of area. No, no 18, 19-year-old X-Men. I don't, I don't want it. Been too young. No jubilee. Get me out of here. Too dong. How about and you? You use a criteria. It's funny. I actually, I actually was saying the same thing. I, uh, I didn't want to use people I already cast. Although I did flirt with the idea of casting everybody Nathan Fillion this time. I didn't. I, I showed much restraint, even though I still did somehow have to work him into the conversation. But I did also go along with things like age range. And uh, and height and just people who I thought would be good choices for the uh, for the role. They could bring something to it. Yeah, age was my big thing. Was I I knew where I was starting, and then I needed to kind of cast everybody from there. So age was, was a big thing. I actually did. I wanted to go a bit younger. The main team, Cyclops, Gene. Um, the, the next week's episode. but man i just i i didn't know who any of these like 20s yeah. 20s actors and actors you know were were i i looked through lists hey the top 
you know, here's here's twenty or fifty actors in their twenties that you should pay attention to. And I'm like, I don't know who any of these people are. So, did did you also not use any of your other Fantastic Four choices? I did not like use Charles? any. Yeah, I did not use any Fantastic Four choices. We, we all were on the same page in that one. <laughs> were, were. So I was I was like late, kind of similar to Charlie's late twenties, early thirties, kind of where I wound up for the bulk of my team. Mine are a bit older. But Dylan, Dylan cast a bunch of 50-year-olds as the team. Professor X like and Magneto it. are like 80 years old. Hey, give me, oh, give yeah. me a grizzly yeah. X-Men movie. Come on. <laughs> they've lived. They've, they've been beaten down by life. That, I would watch that. and I watched the hell out of that. Okay. You know, give, you give, me a, give, me, give me like a 75-year-old Wolverine just kind of like <laughs> grumpy. <laughs> yes, please. I, I want to see you know, Professor X and Magneto play chess in an old folks home and like a you know retirement home no, i don't no. think there's anything wrong with that i used to be a caregiver right. it's it makes sense if that's what happens all right i'm Thanks. dying i'm dying to see all your right. choices come on come all on right. let's start let's, 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 I, I gotta i gotta find out let's go into it so we're starting we're starting with the villain which right. is a big deal for me this magneto is like one of my favorite characters in all of marvel so much so i named my kid after him okay so this was a big one for me. Magneto, Magneto, <laughs> little Magneto, Magneto, they call yeah, him. Magneto Hanson. <laughs> All right, so my number one was like, he was, he was, I think he was the first one because I was like, ah, when I saw him, I was like, ah, mm-hmm, okay. mm-hmm. yes, that's it. And so my Magneto is Jason Isaacs. Oh, yes, okay. I can see that. Jason Isaacs. 58 years old, right? Not too old, not too young, good age. We know he can play the bad guy, run, you know. He, he, Harry Potter. Harry Potter. He was in, he was in Event Horizon. I know. Oh, yeah. have all seen that. Make sure you see Event Horizon because he's great in it. Um, and he is, he is of Jewish descent. That I, it was important to me. I was like, I, I want to make sure that I'm following you know, this, this part of the character. So, I think he would be a fantastic Magneto. I saw it and I was like, nope, I don't, I don't even need to go any further. This is my Magneto. So, That's pretty good. It'd be so good. I don't think you guys can beat this, but I'm really interested. Broad, I don't know. I, I shall see your Jason Isaacs, and I will raise you <clears throat> a... Wait, that's not who it was. That's uh, that's what I was going to do for Professor X. Oh, no. Well, that's weird. Either way, I did first think of him for Magneto, and then I thought, you know what? I Let's like see. him with his head that way. Hold However, on. for... Hold on, hold on. Fix this. Talk amongst yourselves. Don't just have air. Oh, I thought we were going to re-record. We're just gonna, we're just going to keep going. Yeah. Going. Either way, I was going to have him actually be uh, my Magneto. And then when I thought of somebody who I found who could be Professor X, I switched him, actually. I switched him completely. Well, can you um, tell us who that is? Because I, 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 I don't need a picture. I need a name. Well, I shall see Broad's Jason Isaacs, and I'm going to raise him a Kenneth Branagh. Oh, mm-hmm. all right. Mm-hmm. You've got yourself a Shakespearean actor. In fact, the most Shakespearean actor probably in living in film today. Uh, as he's done Much Ado, he's done uh, Henry V, I think. He's done, he's done Hamlet. He's done everything, basically. He's, he's, he would be our current uh, Laurence Olivier. I don't think that would be a far stretch to, uh, to say that he would be that way. So I think it would be really fun to see him play the bad guy, play a Magneto bad guy. I don't know if he is of Jewish descent, but I know he's a lot more of Jewish descent than my Professor X. And so I, I switched those characters, and I thought, it's too bad that you, I, you can't see the picture, because I actually got a picture of him. Uh, it's like a drawing of him kind of, or no, no, yeah. It's, it's, I think it's a drawing of him like drawn as Magneto. Nope, like, we're good. Have, hey, there he we're is. Good. Look at that. Huh? How can you say no to this? That's Magneto right there, and Kenneth Brown. Would be that would be interesting. He would kind of bring that Shakespearean part to him. He already has been a good choice. 
he'd been, you know, he, he directed Thor. I thought Thor, the first one, was really good. He was also in I Harry say, Potter. Good. Yes, he was. That's right. Second one? Second one. Oh, my Magneto was not featured in a Harry Potter film, so I apologize. I didn't know we were doing a theme. Um, I guess I, I could have gone like Daniel Radcliffe for Magneto or something. I don't know. But I went with, uh, with Brian okay. Cranston. Nice. Oh. Uh, now, he has, expressed, he has expressed interest in playing a villain in the MCU. He really? mentioned that he wanted to do Mr. Sinister, but I don't oh. see him as Mr. Sinister. I see him as Magneto. Now, he would also make an excellent Professor X, and I went back and forth, because if you've watched Breaking Bad, he's got that nice dome, and he can pull off, a, if you watch Malcolm in the Middle, he's charming and funny, mm. and then you watch Breaking Bad, and he's he's just got this intensity in the way that he can deliver a line. He is of Aust Austrian Jewish descent, okay. uh, huh. and I just, he's got a, a gravitas on the screen that just really yeah. kind of, you know, oh, yeah. I just, I could watch him in, in just about anything. So uh, I would just love to see him in the MCU and I wanted to find a way to cram him into something. Uh, so this is what I ended up deciding because uh, I want a different direction from my Professor X, which you guys are gonna hate. Oh, everyone's gonna hate it so much. No, but no. Brian Cranston's great. We can all agree on that. How that old is Brian Cranston? He, I think you. I think each one of He's us got a step closer, and you you hit the home run on that one, man. That was really that's good. That is a good one. Yeah, I do like that. A very good choice. Very good one. All right. He's a, he's, I, he's older than my Professor X. That's fine. I will say that after I put this list together, I looked at my list and I said, my list is very British. <laughs> um, it, it, like, uh, apparently, my X-Men, the reason you haven't seen them in the MCU is because they're hiding out. Hello. Because there's, I think they're all, they're all Brits. It's, it's that was Wolverine. That was not intentional. It's not intentional, <laughs> but that's how it wound up. All right. Makes Professor sense. Charles Xavier. Like him so much, name my son after him. It, you can say that with every one of these characters. It depends which characters we've got. <laughs> my kid was also named after Charlie, who just happens to share the name <laughs> Charles Xavier. So, my Professor X, Ray Fines. Come on, oh. he would be great. He is fifty. Eight years old, so only one year huh. older than my Magneto. So they're right around that same age. Ray finds another Harry Potter alum. Um, you know, they they were Voldemort and uh, uh, Lucius Malfoy. Um, so they've already worked together. We know that they can work together. They got good <laughs> chemistry. I think Ray finds would be would just be great. I think he would bring like just this this like nice guy i know he was a bad guy and but he's he's been a lot of good guys too um but yeah he's just just that. just you know looking at him i was like he's already he's already kind of kind of loosen a bit up top wouldn't be a whole lot to to take the rest off you know and i think <laughs> i think he'd be great i think he'd be really good so i agree that's a good one that's a good one there you go Very there good. is my best rex rafe fine yeah i went looks like went ralph finds but it's it's not Ralph, it's Rafe. Don't call Rafe, him Ralph. Yeah, Rafe. I went in a bit of a different direction. I actually okay. initially thought of this guy for Magneto, but then as I was looking at him, I realized, he, I don't know if he's of Jewish descent at all, really. But as I kept seeing pictures of him, I saw him with his shaved head, and I thought, you know what? Why not just have him as Professor Xavier? And I'm not going to say his name right, but uh, uh, Tenura Morrison, who is uh, from New Zealand. Uh, you, he was he played Django Fett in the uh, in the prequels and whatnot, and he's done uh, a whole bunch of other things before and even after that. And I, I've Boba never Fett? seen him play a role <laughs> like Professor X. I've never seen him as like that kind of a good guy. And I I don't know. I think he. I mean, he, I've seen range and I've seen all sorts of different things. I, I I just like to see him in this in this kind of a role. Like this is the kind of role I think that he could really work with and just shine in. You obviously didn't see Aquaman. No, I did not. I did not. Why would he, I see Aquaman? He plays Why Aquaman's dad. See... He plays Aquaman's dad. I thought that uh, the Dolph Lundgren played his dad. 
No. 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 Oh, Elf yeah, Lundgren yeah, no, is, does, is Mira's yeah. dad. I know. That doesn't. That doesn't count. That doesn't count. No, no. <laughs> we're we're not holding this against him. That's great. That's. I'm glad he had his paycheck, and I'm sure he had lots of fun. But I want to see him as something like like Professor X. That would be really interesting. It, right? Look at those the eyebrows right there. Come on, it's perfect. I don't know. I don't know. All right, Charlie, how about you? All right, I like him. He's good. My Professor X, you guys are going to hate this choice, but I wanted, I wanted a flagship name for my flagship franchise. So I went out there and I got myself one of the biggest known actors in Whoa. Hollywood. Oh, Give me some Tom Cruise as Professor X. Gosh, uh, look at that beautiful bald head. Oh, look at that Charlie. physique screaming to be in a wheelchair. <laughs> Let me be Professor X, he says. Tom Cruise can play any role. <laughs> they, write the, they write the books for Jack Reacher. He's a 6'5". They describe his shoulders as being like a building. They're like, what are we gonna do? Who are we gonna cast? We're gonna cast five four Tom Cruise, and we're gonna let him. We're gonna let him be Jack Reacher. And hey, boom, five, there seven, he goes. He seven. pulls it off, and he pull whatever he is, and he pulls it <laughs> off. Seven. You say, oh, he can't play a, a balding movie producer and, and who just kind of dances around and, and and looks all weird and gross. He's Tom Cruise. He takes himself too seriously. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Tropic Thunder says, hold on a second, hold on a second, because he, he, he oh. You don't think Tom Cruise can be a secret agent? Well, what about Mission Impossible? Huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> when I, I've often walked along and been like, Tom Cruise could never pull off a secret agent. I say that all the time. <laughs> yeah. I'd like to see Tom Cruise be a fighter pilot in something. Yeah, right. Um, but anyway, my point is, is he can pull off anything. And he has, look, probably not a very nice human being. And you know, oh. not probably a terrible person to work with. Oh, but I, you know, I'm a sucker for Tom Cruise movies. I just, I just like him. I like the movies. There's no real reason for it. And I think he'd make a great Professor X. And he would do all his own stunts. Think of the <laughs> wheelchair work he would learn how to use. He'd be like flipping. You know what? We should. Honestly, I should have put more thought in this. We should have cast somebody who's just naturally in a wheelchair. That's really what it should be. Uh, Hollywood cast somebody who's already in a wheelchair instead of teaching Tom Cruise how to use one. But if you're going to teach someone, it might as well be my boy, Tommy C. Yeah. Tom Cruise would learn telekinesis for the role. That's what he would do. He would he this was like, Scientology is practically <laughs> telekinesis. I mean, he already has superpowers. I mean, they're already there. All right, Brody, now, on a scale of one to 10, 10 being irate fire, how much do you hate this choice? I don't like it. I don't, now, I don't there like is it. a rumor that he is playing a variant Iron Man. That's a rumor. Yeah. So I was almost, he was almost cast as Iron Man, wasn't he? Yeah, well, yes, well, he was. In, like, in like the 90s, yeah, everybody wanted him to be Iron Man. Right, right. Yeah. But they say that as a variant Iron Man. Now, that's a rumor. So, to, like I said, I have no idea. But I have heard that old uh, variant Tony Stark is going to be old Tommy Cruise. But hey, I don't think this is, I think people wouldn't see this coming, but I'm not saying that this is bad. I mean, I don't think he would be a bad in this role at all. I'm telling this this would be like the casting of Robert Downey Jr., where everyone's like, really, really? And then he comes on, and he's just a great actor, and he commits to whatever role he's in, and he just <laughs> blows people away. Tommy, underrated actor. He And if if you're going to give me anything about him, you're going to give that he fully commits. When he's in a role, he fully commits. He's not half-assing it. Even if it's a bad movie, he's fully there and fully present. Very true. He completes me. Very uh, outside anyways. the box. Take, take, you take the best runner in Hollywood and stick him in a wheelchair. <laughs> hey, hey, can you imagine? He's like, he's like doing this, and then his, his arms start cutting <laughs> through the air. And, and it's easy. <laughs> come on. He was they, in a wheelchair. They, they can come up with some great July, stuff. He was in a wheelchair. Well, magic. There it is. Charlie, I would have loved to have seen like your thought process as you got to this. <laughs> as you as you looked through the serious actors and you were like, you know. <laughs> there was like there was nothing more depressing about this exercise. Okay. I don't know if you guys watched the Super Bowl, but like yes. when I was a kid, you know, the halftime acts were always like the Rolling Stones or some band from like the seventies, and you're like, gosh, why don't they play why don't they play some modern music? And now it's finally, like, oh, oh, Snoop, yeah, all right, oh, this is, this is, and then you realize, oh, gosh, 
I'm the old. I'm so old. Now the halftime music is my generation of stuff from when I was young. And, and now there's like a whole bunch of new kids who are like, what is, this, what is this old stuff that they keep throwing out here in the halftime show? I'm looking at actors who could play in their 60s and I'm like, these are my people. These are the <laughs> actors I watched when I was young. Why are they so old? Yeah. All right. Well, we got to move on. We spent now, enough time on say, Charlie's, Charlie's Professor a- X. If this is if this is one if the one that you thought Charlie's uh, would you would you guys wouldn't care for, this one is going to be my wildest card, right? Here. Okay. All right. Well, yes. Cyclops. My Cyclops. Taron Edgerton, from the Watch, uh, not the Watchmen, the Kingsman movies. I think he could pull. I know there's there's a bunch there's like a, a a whole bunch of people that want him as Wolverine. I think he would be a way better Cyclops. He's kind of got the smugness to him. He can kind of bring that leadership bit to him while kind of acting like a jerk. Cyclops is a jerk. Like, wow. for people to, to read that, he's, he's not like, he's not a, a, a really nice guy. He's kind of a jerk, but he's a really good leader. And I think that that is something that Terran, I keep wanting to call him Terrence, but it's Terran. <laughs> I think he could pull off. I think he could do it. And he is 32, so he's kind of right in huh. that age range as the rest of my like core team of X-Men. But I saw him and I was like, you know what? I work. So there. My Cyclops. That's another, good. another Brit. Karen another Brit. Edgerton. Good. I can I I can um for my Cyclops, he is definitely an American and this is like I said, the wildest card that I have. But that's a pretty good one, bro, I gotta say. That's a Charlie, good you don't you, Charlie, you don't look convinced by my pick. I I I have no idea who this is. So I was oh, trying to look but... up to see if I've seen him in anything. <laughs> and I, I have not. So I don't know who this is. I haven't seen any of the Kingsman movies. Uh oh, but you I know watch that them. they're on HBO, or at least one of them is. So yeah. I'm gonna I am gonna I, I was, they're on my list. I heard the first one was good. I heard the second one was okay, and I heard the third one was terrible. Was he in uh, Baby Driver? Was he the lead in Baby Driver no, with Edgar Wright? No, I don't believe. So. Could be wrong. Charlie would know. He's, I'm, he's I'm, looking him up right now. But I don't. Oh, believe I so. already closed the tab. Oh, yeah, I don't believe. But so. I yeah, I'll 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 watch this. But I, I mean, he he seems like a nice fellow. No, he was super <laughs> smug and kind of jerky in the first one. Like this, okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. better than all you. I know more than all you. I thought that that would fit Cyclops. Really. No, I mean, you already said he was British. <laughs> it, is it is true. You did say true. British. Bro. No offense to our British fans across the pond. All right. Jer- uh, <laughs> Dylan, your Cyclops, your wild card. My Cyclops? Now, I went way against type on this one because okay. I wanted to see him play a straightforward role a straightforward superhero role without really you know not a lot of pathos so we got donald glover there he's he's already in the mcu what he's already in the mcu that didn't count that was sony mcu (laughs) and i forgot okay so it doesn't count bro that doesn't go into the quantification of the whole thing but i thought about this i thought i i mean i thought I actually thought of him when it came to a uh, Nightcrawler or Cyclops. Everybody else I had, and and you know, I, I was like, I, you know, I'll tell you this: when he played Troy Barnes on Community, that character was supposed to be, and he even said this, some big like buff football play white quarterback guy, and he comes in, he's five eight, which is just an inch taller than me, not very, not very tall, and, and like you know, like he's in excellent shape, but he had he just completely took over the character in a in a different way, and I think he still he still had complete control with of that whole zeitgeist, and I I just like to see what he would do with a role like this. You see this role, and it if it's you know it's it's not a flashy role, it's not a you know any of that kind of a thing. So you know I wanted to take a character, and see what he would do, even if it was even if he did nothing, it would be interesting. Would be so I thought it would be. I thought go with this. Go with a different kind of uh, uh, part in the role. And he he's definitely not as young as your guys, but the other characters who I have are around that same age. So it works out, folks. It works. Out. Yeah, I like it. I do it. I froze up, so I, I missed the the first part of it. And I was like so sad because I I wanted to see who your who your wild card was, and it turns out Donald Glover. Love it. Yeah. That's great. It's great. 
All right. Charlie, I, yours. I, I almost <laughs> put him. Okay. I actually almost cast him, but instead I went a different direction. Uh, if you guys have ever seen the television show Leverage or Leverage Redemption or okay. have I've paid attention to the casting Whoa. of Black Adam or, uh, I don't know, seen City on a Hill or, you know, a number of any other uh, – he was in an episode of Black Mirror. But anyway, Aldous Sodge is fantastic. Uh, he's in he's in great physical shape and he's a terrific actor uh, and he's funny and he's got like a nice swagger to him I thought uh, for this role like you know I didn't picture Cyclops as a jerk I know I know he can be jerkish at times but I we've talked about this in past episodes the key to being a jerk on screen is you got to be likable you got to sure. be able to we talked about this in the Fantastic Four you know with with a uh, you know with, with Anyway, but uh, the nice. idea here is to be to be brash and to be confident and to be you know because look if you're just a jerk you're not you can't you can't be a great leader if you're just a jerk no one's gonna listen to you you got you gotta you got you can be a little arrogant you can be you know you gotta be able to but you gotta be able to motivate through speeches anyway I think he'd be fantastic honestly I just love to see him in something in, in Marvel I know DC yeah. snagged him first but that's okay you do Black Adam film and then you come on over to the to, to the MCU open arms and 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 you go, come be an amazing cyclops for us he's he's yeah. gonna be in the black adam movie yeah okay well, there can always be crossover he's playing uh ha he's playing hawkman but you know hey oh really it oh, we okay. never said yeah we never said you never said you can't be in, in the dcu to be in the mcu that's true you can cross that's you can true. cross your stream we can cross streams here that's true that's true <laughs> no he looks cool yeah. I haven't seen any of the shows that, that, that he's been in. Me neither. Very well Leverage. It's, Good choice. It's a, harmless, it's a harmless show. Give it a, give it a watch. Okay. All right. Ooh, so it's right a along. low investment show. Fine. Small investment? Why, right, it's like a... Low investment, yeah. It's good. That means it's a light drama. show. It's not some matter. heavy drama. All right. It's not heavy. Yeah. Gene Gray. Yeah. My next Jean Grey, my next Brit, is 31 years old. Hmm. So sticking right in that, that early 30s. I have Emma Watson. Oh. So I, I didn't mean to pull so many Harry Potter folk. I don't know. <laughs> you know, I, I don't know why. They just, they just came to mind when I was looking people up. And I, I've, maybe I just haven't watched that much stuff that my mind just kind of finds these Harry Potter. There was everybody, everybody was in Harry Potter. So you can't blame me. There was eight <laughs> movies. Donald Glover was not in Harry Potter. <laughs> but Emma Watson was. I think she would make a fantastic Jean Grey. I think she's got the smarts. She could do the, the uh, I think she could do the, uh, like the Phoenix stuff, the telekinetic stuff, which telekinetic is like, stuff. Ah! but like the Phoenix stuff, I think I think it would be really interesting to see her take on like the Phoenix stuff and and turn kind of dark and you know, do I want to see another Phoenix? I don't know. They've tried it twice and have failed both times. But gosh, I'd love the Phoenix saga. I just want to see it done right. Hey, you gotta let MCU do it this time. They'll do it right. Come apparently, on. apparently. Emma Watson. But that's I. That's I think. I think she'd be. I think she'd be really good. She's right in that age range. Fantastic actor. I think she. So nice. I, I didn't realize that we had to only pick from the Harry Potter universe. No, you to don't. Them into the X Men universe. No, you don't. It's just how. It's just what if happened. You can, if you can, if you have Daniel Radcliffe as Wolverine, I'm going to be so excited. You got to you make pick make the choice. I thought about it. There's a lot Outside of fan castings out there about him, but he's not. Hey, if Alan Rickman were still alive, come on, I put uh, he he would be great at, at something. Put him in something. He'd be a great Professor X. CGI him. Oh man, Just no. put him in CGI. <laughs> Please <X>. don't. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> All right. Professor. So there's my Jean Grey, Emma Watson. I love. Well, bro, I, I, I want to see it. Slight I want to see it. I went in a slightly different direction, but this one, luckily, there was uh, some fan art on this because my Jean Grey was, in fact, Emma Stone. She's a redhead. She's also in that kind of an age range, although I think she's, like, a bit older. Uh, Donald Glover was born in 83. She was born in 88. She's okay. in not a natural redhead. She was, I think she was a blonde, actually. And then she, she kind of started dyeing her hair red. She was a blonde but, and uh, amazing Spider-Man. 
That's right. Uh, but you know, at the same time, I we, we I, I want to see her do something where she's serious and she's well, con you know, confident. She's she's I don't know. I think this kind of a role I've never seen her do anything along these lines. Everything has been either really funny, but I think this is one she could kind of put a little gravitas into. She can she can take the awkwardness that she usually uh, comes with the roles in and even add a little bit of that to the Jean Grey, but come back with some, some serious confidence some serious chops and some serious power. I, I thought about her. I saw her kind of as I was... You like too American for you? Too American. Also, it's already in the, the Spider-Man. Uh, it doesn't count! I mean, she, has, she, has, she hasn't even been in a Harry Potter film. I mean... True. All right, Charlie, your Ray. Okay, uh, so I picked the mom who played uh, who, the woman who played Ron's Ron Weasley's mother from the Harry Potter franchise. <laughs> um, no, uh, uh, Betty Gilpin. Uh, so if you've ever seen Glow, uh, which we talked yeah. about in the Fantastic Four, uh, she plays the opposite of Alison Brie. Who? Oh, so Liberty I mean, Bell. I'm putting them both into the MCU. Oh. Yeah, she's Liberty Bell. Yeah, Liberty uh, Bell. And. She was very or Debbie Egan, I believe, is the character's name. But anyway, she's very she's very good in that show, and and that show show really kind of gave her a very broad character to play. Like they kind of gave she was a badass in the ring, and she's got like yeah. this kind of jilted lover, and you know, and kind of emo anyway, just a whole swell of them. And then by the end, she's like a she's running companies, and like you know, just she she's got this full like really good broad range of emotions that she's able to kind of display in her acting. So she's definitely got chops. Uh, she. I, for some reason, because because she was like a mom and that I don't know what it was, but she's young. She's young. She's she was born eighty six, so oh, okay. uh, you know she's uh, thirty five. She's in, right in that age range of of what I what I'm looking for here. I wanted someone who had a little bit more maturity for my for my Jean Grey, um, because she's because she's like right in the mix of like that. Uh, you know she's she's there with you know Professor X. She's got you know maybe perhaps a little a little love interests with uh, with Wolverine and with. Uh, and with uh, you know, with with the uh, Cyclops or whoever you know, or whatever they whatever direction they decide to go. Anyway, I just wanted someone who was a uh, was a little bit more mature actress, and so it didn't feel like you know you got some like hairy, scary Wolverine guy and some like predatory thing going on with like some twenty year old. So uh, anyway, like poor poor Emma Watson getting pawed by Wolverine. Come on, <laughs> unless it's Daniel Radcliffe, in which case we can right two wrongs with one thing. We get. <laughs> Emma, Emma, we should, they should. Hermione and Harry should have ended up together, and we can make that happen in in the X Men universe. Anyway, um, anyway, she's just a really talented actress, and I'd love to see her in more things. I was really, really, this is just all of this casting stuff is an excuse for me to complain that we didn't get a Glow season three. So I'm still, I'm still very angry about that. So any chance I get, I'm gonna bring that up in the podcast. That I, I wish there could have been a Glow season three. Give it to me, maybe someday. But in the meantime, Jean Grey. There you go. <laughs> Yo, I like nice. that pick. I think that's a good pick. It's a good pick. Oh, all right. A little, like little redemption for my, for my uh, Professor X pick. All right. I like uh, it. I don't know if I go that far. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right. The big one. I can't one. wait to see your Wolverine. The all big right, one. The Wolverine. The guy who who everybody's waiting for is probably going to cross over between every team in the MC. This was daunting. This was I had a sort of a hard time. Once I kind of found my guy, I was like, "Come so on, let's see it." My guy. Henry Cavill, come on! We said we didn't say anything about about coming over from the DCEU. I think he did. Like, right. You gave me like a direct I, eye roll when I said that he was playing Hawkman in the DCU, and you're like, "Oh, I don't know. You can't take a DCU no, guy." No, I did not do that. Superman? Over? I did come not. On. I did not eye roll because I knew that I had a DC guy coming over. Come on, look at the guns on this guy. Rewind the tape. This guy's great. Rewind the tape. I love Henry Cavill. He's one of my yeah, favorites. I love him. I just want to see him in the MCU. 
Whether it's, you know, there's been all sorts of rumors. He's, he's been rumored for everything. Hey, he's going to be Captain Britain. Whatever. I don't know. I think he'd be a great Wolverine. Come on. Look at the guns on this guy. Right? If you were going to go British, I'm surprised you didn't go uh, uh, with, uh, with Tom Hardy. Nah, he's, he's already been in the MCU. Sort of. In a Spider-Man again. Sort of. In sort a of. Spider-Man. Sort of, sort of. That's true. It is true. It is but, a Spider Man. But Henry Cavill, we know he can go dark and grumpy from the Witcher stuff. We know oh. he can get physical. We know he can lead franchises. We know that he can lead movies. We know that he he's he likes the geeky stuff. He's gonna dive into it. Don't give me that face, Tudong Dylan. Don't <laughs> give me that face, boy. I think we know he'll dive into it, bro. We know he'll dive. He'd into dive it. into it. He would love it. He'd be great. You send him out in press. He'd look fantastic. He he ah yeah. What I landed. successful franchise is he led again? The Witcher. Besides the Witcher and the DCEU. I mean, it, I'll it be honest. I money. hope he gets another chance at Superman. I really do. He was a really good Superman. He was a good Superman, but I'd like to see him in the MCU. And I think. If there was going to be anybody in the MCU, I think because Wolverine is going to be such a big role, I think True. I would really like to see him as Wolverine. <laughs> Plus, he's just so cool, and I just want Henry Cavill. In <laughs> you want to see him with his mutton chops and ah, claws oh man, and... he can pull off the mustache. You know, he could pull off the mutton chops. Are you kidding me? Awesome. He's so cool, and he. He's only 38 years old. 30, 38, 39, something like that. Really? He, yeah, he is, still, he is still young. And he's got a lot left in him. He could do Wolverine for a long, long time. All right. Moving right along, because we're going a little long here, folks. This is a longer one. We've got a lot to say about these. So, moving on to Tudong's Wolverine. Well, I'm going to make your day, Charlie, because be somebody I from did the 60s. choose... Daniel Radcliffe, as a matter of fact, <laughs> it's my Wolverine right there. It wasn't and me! Little... It wasn't me! <laughs> yep, it was me instead. I, I cast Harry Potter as Wolverine snickety snack right there. He's got his cigar, he's got his claws, he's got his... He's looking around places. He's only 5'5". Five five. He totally is he really? Still, I mean, he, looking he around looks, places. Yes, he, he, he lifts some weights and whatnot. Then he, I think he could totally do it. I'd like to see this guy tackle this kind of a role. I, I couldn't mm. think of anybody else besides Nathan Fillion. And I, I, he's already cast. He's <laughs> just fantastic. So I, I couldn't cast him again. You got the Canadian part down. <laughs> I thought about this, but I knew that I couldn't. When I, when I saw that picture, I was like, yeah, that's it. There we go. I think Perfect. this, I actually wouldn't mind this. Yeah. All right. All right. This, my, my Wolverine might be a little controversial. Uh oh. For a couple yeah. of reasons. Um, I cast the band. mom from uh, Harry Potter's Ginny Weasley's mother. Uh, no, all right. Uh, Adam Who Canto. Who is that? Uh, Adam. Aiden Canto. Uh, Aiden Canto. He was great in Mixology, which was a one season show. Good. Of it. He was excellent in Designated Survivor. And there's a new show that he's in, a drama called The Cleaning Lady, uh, which uh, is. Is he bad. the cleaning lady? No. Uh, the t it's a terrible title. Terrible title for a show, but uh, uh, well performed. Uh, <laughs> uh, Lodi Young, I think the, the, she played uh, Electra in the okay, Marvel yeah. television show. Yeah. Oh, She's, uh, she, she plays the lead in that show. It's like a drama, and he's he's uh, kind of like the, the male lead in it. He's an, a gangster, and he's pretty intense. Uh, the picture doesn't show it, but he's pretty jacked. Uh, mm -hmm. He's got great facial hair, a good gravelly voice. Uh, he's very Hugh Jackman-ish. Okay. So if you're basing the character more off of what we've grown used to as a society, uh, we want to see a da more a, a dashing a dashing Wolverine who then you dirty up. You g give me like a you, you get like a you get like a like a nice handsome strong strapping man and then and then you just you 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 like make him look like he's been worn and beaten down by life. Yeah. Uh, you get the mutton chops and you get the claws. Mm -hmm. Anyway, great. He's got a great voice for the role, which is very important for me. Um, 
I just like he's got a smoldering intensity. I mean, uh, you know, Henry Cavill calls him all the time for acting tips. I, I was watching an interview, uh, and he was talking about how when uh, Cavill got cast as Superman, that the first call was to Aiden, and he was just like, "Dude, how do I smolder on screen and brood? How do you do that thing with your eyebrows?" And he's like, "I can't teach you. You just gotta know. You just gotta know it. Is you born with it?" Um, is that how his Wolverine anyway, had, is gonna like, sound whatever. too? <laughs> That's definitely his voice. Yeah, he's like, "Hello, oh, forget about it. I'm not even Italian. I don't know why I talk like this, but uh, it's me, Wolverine, man." <laughs> Hair and Professor X apart. <laughs> I had like four different uh, people in mind for Wolverine, and I couldn't decide. I couldn't decide, and finally, I just thought I picked the person that I like. I, I the actor that I like the best. Yeah, you know, role be damned. I think that, you know, I want to see, look, honestly, if we're being honest right now, this is the last guy, so I can just be honest with you guys. I'd love to see <laughs> them cast some more unknown actors, you know, people who I don't know. Give, yeah. Give a shot for some, like, Dude. some great, great young actors to get into the MCU or, or some, like, great working actors who have had, like, nice careers but just haven't had that big break. I'd love to mm -hmm. see that more so than I would, like, people who are already successful and have big names. But... Or that's way less fun if we're just putting images up of people that we don't even know. And we're like, this person could be something. I don't know. His name is Steve. Uh, so, but uh, I, I really like him and, and he's a, he's a, he's a good actor and I'd love to see him get uh, like a big movie break. Cause he's been, he's been a really good TV guy, but, but full disclosure, he played a very small role in X-Men days of future past. Oh. Uh, he played sunspot, but it was such a small role and his hair was so curly back then. It doesn't count. Doesn't count. Doesn't count. Like, yeah, like real, like tight little ringlets. Doesn't count. All right. He's learned how to smolder better in, in his in his old age. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I think um, I think Charlie, that that's a good point. These are all just like us having fun casting stuff. And I think yeah. as as usual, it's it's Brody doing the the ultimate like fan casting, right? Marvel's got unlimited money, so they can hire all these huge actors yeah why not charlie's pulling in the these people that he would just love that it, he's watched on tv that he would love to see more of you know and then dylan coming in with his own picks you know um, <laughs> wild card, you the, know why. The wild, wild card dylan wild so, card. yeah you know ultimately yeah i they probably will cast unknowns and, and i'm totally fine with that and it gets some but, yeah but this was fun. Um, make sure you come back for number two, part two next week, where we are doing Mr. Sinister. Storm, Nightcrawler, Rogue, Ambit. Our choices will shock you. They will shock you. All right. Do you guys have anything else to add to this? No, we're good. All right. On. Charlie, you ready to take us home? Oh, yeah. Well, look, thank you so much for joining us on our wild whims of fan casting. Let us know below, like, who are some of your favorite actors or actresses that you just love to see in the MCU? You can squeeze them into a part or just drop some names. Uh, we love we love hearing from you guys, and we just thank you so much for all the support. Make sure you check out part two. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. we got some uh, really fun choices there lined up. I'm sure Dylan's will be wild. And I will have not picked a single Harry Potter cast member for two shows in a row. So two, <laughs> And make sure you like and subscribe below the beard. We'll see you next time. All right. We'll see you guys later.